How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are having a spectacular day. If you guys would please give this video a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys would please head over to Twitch. Follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week whether it's for Call of Duty Battlefield Halo or Destiny 2. And if you guys have any movies or shows you guys want me to watch or review here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite. This is episode 9 rant. If you guys have missed out on the past episodes, they are all in the Halo playlist and they are also in the rant playlist. You guys can go into those playlist videos and catch up on those. But without further ado, let's talk about episode 10. We have four things I want to talk about in this episode. First off, the melee needs to be nerfed. What I mean by that is that I should not be able to instantly kill somebody with a melee when they have full health and full shields. And then there are other times when it is working properly and it's supposed to be a two hit melee. And so it'll do that. But there have been several times, especially with me playing Fiesta, where my melee will actually overpower melee weapons. My fist should not be overpowering someone that attacks me with an energy sword or a gravity hammer. And I can one-punch them before they are able to attack me. And... I feel like the, the balancing for these melee things needs to be addressed, it needs to be fixed, and I'm hoping that it's going to be an easy solution that they can get patched, patched into the game very fast. It just makes melee feel not only broken, but it makes it where the melee feels unpredictable, and it also makes the it makes melee more powerful than melee weapons, and I don't think that's what 343 Microsoft want in Halo Infinite. Next thing I want to talk about is, well, actually all three of these things are going to be about Season 2 when it comes to Halo Infinite. And that is, first of all, there has been rumored that Season 2 is going to launch with five maps, which I'm really hoping that is true. Um, something I've talked about in past videos and streams and such with Halo Infinite is... The big problem with the game, or at least one of the biggest ones, is lack of maps. And if we get five new maps with Season 2, that would be amazing. It would be a breath of fresh air. I want at least two of those maps to be for Big Team Battle, because Big Team Battle really needs some new interesting maps, and the other three can be for the full re playlist. Um, I just don't want Season 2 to come out with one or two maps, because people are going to get what's called Burnout really fast if you're just playing on these maps. Um, I think Season 2 at least needs 3. 4 to 5 would definitely make Season 2 stand out as some sort of substantial content. Next thing about Season 2 is that Battle Pass has been confirmed to have earnable credits, and what I mean by earnable credits are the credits currency, your real-life money that you get to use in the game to purchase cosmetics for your Spartan for cores, for vehicle skins, and weapon skins. There are going to be credits earnable within the Season 2 Battle Pass. However, I do have this gigantic fear and theory that those credits are going to be slow to obtain. They're going to make the Battle Pass progression system slower, or they're going to make it where those credits that you want to obtain, they're going to be towards the later part of the battle pass, so you're going to really have to grind out the pass in order to get those things. And you're probably only going to get enough credits to purchase one item in the store, so use those well. And fourth and lastly, I want to talk about that Season 2 has been rumored to get three permanent game modes, that being King of the Hill, Infection, and Attrition modes. Um, attrition, of course, was something that was around... For a limited time, part of the holiday event, um, Infection is already, quote-unquote, in the game files, along with the King of the Hill. If you actually go into theater and custom games, there is a section within the game where you can select to do King of the Hill on a brand new map. 
um, but it is locked. You can't actually launch into it, but it is in the game. There is coding where King of the Hill and Infection are possible to play. They just kind of have it locked at the moment, so you actually can't do it, but it looks like it's going to be coming with Season 2. So that's going to do it for me, guys, for Halo Infinite Rant Episode 10. I know I really didn't rant about it. It was more of a news informational dump. And uh, don't worry, more to come. Episode 11 will come out very soon. And I hope you guys look forward to that. Along with all of my other co awesome content, I cover movies, music, video games, TV shows, and airsoft guns. And thank you guys all for the love and support here on the channel. And if you guys are brand new subscribers, or if you guys are going to subscribe just because you guys watch this video, make sure you guys check out all my playlist videos. And you guys can catch up on all my past content and all of my new content. You guys can get a sneak peek at that as well. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.